Uh, scroll down quickly. Go into throw grenade. Just underneath this, I forgot to do the most important thing. We have to say grenade. Clone. Dot rigid body. Dot add force at position. Open bracket, close bracket, close the semicolon, and then we're going to say the direction is this one times grenade. I think it was called grenade throw speed. Yep. Comma. Grenade direction. That should work now. Super. Number four. I just saw it drop. <laughs> Hold on a second there. The grenade hole is the wrong way. Yep. The Z axis is in the wrong way. So we want to rate, rotate that because it's in the wrong direction. So it's on the minus. Just put it to zero. That should be fine. Alright. Save this. And let's try now. So I click four. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Alright, I seem to notice that we can keep throwing grenades. Even though there's supposed to be a limit on those. Number of grenades is set to zero, that's why. Let's set that to three. And let's try now. Let me stop the game first, actually. I want to set... Oh no, it was three. I could still throw it. One, oops, minus one, minus two, minus two. Okay, it should not allow us to throw anymore. Let's go back into the script and let's see what's wrong. Number of grenades minus one equals that's perfectly fine. There must be something wrong in the input key then. Grenades, okay, let's see what we got. If input dot get mouse button zero. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be number of grenades, not number of C4s. So that's supposed to be number of grenades. There we go. Now let's see if that works. We have three grenades. And we should only be able to allow, uh, we should only be able to chuck three of them. So, there we go. Moment of truth. One, two, three. That's it, we're out of grenades. Brilliant, it works. But I want to add one final touch to this. In games, if you notice, you can hold the grenade for a certain amount of time and then throw it for more greater distance. Let's do that next. So I'm going to say in here, I'm going to say grenade throw speed plus plus and go back down to throw, uh, throw grenade function and over here we're just going to set it back to 500 I shouldn't have mine at work actually I don't think so I think so let's have a look so if I hold it down what's gonna happen
I thought so. All right. Um, where is that part? You don't need this line over here. Copy that. Delete that. Go up to the keys. We need to add it in here. So we can get rid of that as well. Just gonna select the right one first. Inside here, I'm gonna say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. I'm gonna copy this line. I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna change this to get mouse button. I think it's up. Get mouse. But not yet. As soon as we release it, then we can throw the grenade. If we're holding it, I want to increase that timer. So I'm gonna say grenade throw speed plus plus. Then take that, copy it. If we release it, set it back to 500. And that should work. So I'm going to switch to this, I'm holding it, as you can see the time is increasing, I let go and it flies off even further than before, that's good. Excellent, brilliant, and then it resets. So we try that one more time, release. Good. Now there's one little issue now. That time it can carry on going above thousands and thousands. Let's quickly sort that out. So the max we should probably have is... Let's find out actually. Let's keep holding the key down for a long time and see how far we can throw the grenade. Whoa. Alright, that's its normal distance. So if I hold this down... Eight hundred. Eight hundred's good. So just copy that name. Grenade throw speed. Go up here. And in here we're gonna say if open right close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace, paste that is greater than eight hundred. Copy it, paste it there. Then it's gonna be equals to eight hundred. And I don't think I'll ever go less than zero, so there's no point in doing that one. That's all we need. I right, can do a quick test on that. Then I just update. All right, let's run the game. Oh, I'm going to test one more thing, actually. I'm going to set this a grenade by default, and let's see if it changes. Yep, good. All right, let's hold it in. I actually can't see the key anymore. Right there it is. Good. Works perfectly. Uh, it goes to 801, so if I put this to 799, then it should go to 800. Let's just check that one more time. Okay, it's increasing. <coughs> Brilliant. And yep, yeah, after you release it, it goes back to 500. So yeah, guys, that's how you add grenades into our Rayshoot script. And stay tuned for more tutorials. As soon as I get a lot more guns, I'll be adding to the gun manager. 
I'm gonna do a Claymore tutorial next and the C4 like I said isn't fully finished yet so I'll come back to that in a bit as always guys thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe please and yeah thank you bye bye